is holy night and blessed night and a reminder always for ourselves that we are not interested in the dunya aspect of events that are happening but from the world of light and that when people gather for the love of Allah and the love of Allah's blessed prophets and holy saints and holy spirits of Allah in which their souls are immense proximity to the Divinely Presence. That when people gather for that love and that muhabbat there must be a immense blessings upon humanity. And that we are the people that seek out these blessings and these rewards. That Nabi Isa salam, his birth date, not important. Anytime we come together to remember his love, his message, his reality and his salam, it must be an immense dressing, immense blessing that we know just in the level of the hearts that to go from Sayyidina Adam has a message but the qalb Sayyidina Nuh at the level of the sir, Sayyidina Ibrahim and Sayyidina Musa at the sir sir and the khafa reality which is the reality of resurrection is with Sayyidina Isa and that his message for us is an eternal love. And that's what's important. Unfortunately dunya people everything is a source of conflict. Everything is something to be argued. Can we eat this food? Can we eat that food? This, this uh, for people in the West who are living in the West and you are the guest of Western nations which are Christian nations and you eat from their food, you don't eat from their food. The teaching in adab is to be polite, to have a love and respect that you are a guest within their countries and exhibit the best of character and the noblest of characters. If it's something that you can eat and is halal for you, alhamdulillah. If it's something that is not halal for you, eh, give a word of peace to them and go your way without offending, without harming and encourage people in the celebration and the love of the Divinely Presence. That happy holidays to you, be blessed to you and that all of humanity to be blessed. Now people living in Karachi, they have nothing to do with Christmas. So that's a different reality because now tariqah and Islam and teachings are worldwide and they're being brought together through one camera where one camera may have a students, thousands of students on every continent of this earth. So everything has its own reality and its own place. In Islamic nations they don't have anything to do with Christmas. They celebrate the Mawlid and Nabi So that's not an issue for them. But those of the nation of Islam under Sayyidina Muhammad wherever they are in other nations and other religions and other faiths and beliefs they are to be good ambassadors. So that people come across a Muhammadiyoon, one whom adheres to the sunnah and the way and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and believes that, I met one and they had good character and a good example and you never know that by that good character does Allah send a light of guidance into the heart of the people that we deal with. And that's all our responsibility is. As far as the malakut and heavenly realities 
Sayyidina Isa salam's love is immensely essential for us. And that's what the, the dunya Muslims don't understand. They want to use this, these days as a form of argument and they want to argue with people and dispute with people and think this is what Allah wants and this is the way of da'wah and they lose the whole reality and the love and the importance of Sayyidina Isa salam that we don't want to anger him by saying and doing things that would be offensive to Sayyidina Isa salam. So then these are opportunities for those who have immense muhabbat and love just to meditate and contemplate and think that what an immense reality that Sayyidina Isa salam has that born from such a purified mother who was sacrificed her life for the service of Allah and Allah bestowed into her womb a gift and her name Maryam is that it has Mim Ra Mim. And just the secret of this huruf is that from this Muhammadan reality because every Mim opens up to with two Mim. So Maryam the, the Mim at the beginning, Mim at the end is a sign for us this has an immense reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and that her Ra and this Rabb that with inside her womb is of a very lordly soul Allah is bestowing. And when Allah is alluding to, we have chosen you above all women in creation. Um, again because people don't meditate and they don't contemplate that the 19th surah of Holy Qur'an and 19 are the letters of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. 19 are the secret of Ahlul Bayt that the letters of Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein equal to the 19. And we have articles on the reality of 19 and the power of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and how that has to do with the secret of the family of Sayyidina Muhammad So then when you make your tafakkur and think that what honour Allah gave to Sayyidina Maryam salam, that put her into the Holy Qur'an, put her name as the chapter of Holy Qur'an and put her name as the chapter of the 19th surah of Holy Qur'an. I mean how many times and, and how many honours Allah is going to give when Allah says in Surah Al-Rahman, how many of the favours of my Lord are you going to deny? Means that when we don't stop and contemplate, <clears throat> we burn ourselves with bad character. Say that the immense importance of Sayyidina Maryam that Allah is giving her a surah, Allah is giving her the 19th surah that is hinting to the family of Sayyidina Muhammad And then Allah is, is giving to us the beloved and holy verse that we have chosen you above all women in creation. He said that this holy Qur'an is a secret between Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad When Allah is giving this understanding of Sayyidina Maryam salam, then for us to contemplate, chose you for who? When Allah we have chosen you, you're a chosen person. We have chosen you above all women 
in creation. Means then chosen for who? And who's Allah's most beloved in creation? What is all of this creation created for? So means then we all this teaching always has to come all together. When we say Allah wanted to be known, made all of creation as wanting to be known, all of creation is in the existence and the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah that's very easy to understand when Allah is describing to Sayyidina Maryam that we have chosen you above all women in creation. I've chosen you for Sayyidina Muhammad Don't you understand that I've chosen you above all women in creation. What chosen for what? Chosen for my most beloved creation Sayyidina Muhammad then it gives us an understanding of the importance of that child within her holy womb. And who is this personality of immense, immense power? A Ruhul Qudus, the, the Holy Spirit of Allah with, with what lights, with what blessings that Allah created this reality. And that Sayyidina Isa throughout his mission in this dunya, all that he asked from Allah is that, I want to be under the flag of Sayyidina Muhammad And Allah accepted the du'a of Sayyidina Isa not to die and witness Prophet but I want to be under the flag and the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad means raise me and keep me alive until the last days. When Allah accepted that du'a means that Sayyidina Isa is alive now in dunya. But they don't see him and the bad character veils him. As a result of being alive on dunya his hayat and his secret of his, his life is emanating upon dunya, he is the most misrepresented prophet in creation. And that's why we call Messi Dajjal, that's why we say the Antichrist. Because so many feel or think they feel that reality and they begin to falsely attribute something to the life and to the reality of Sayyidina Isa salam. And that's why so many fake Jesuses have appeared, so many fake people saying that they feel the Spirit, they talk to the Spirit, they oh, oh every, everything you can imagine is the most falsified Prophet that is on this dunya right now. How many false sort of testimonies they give of that reality. When reality the spirit of Sayyidina Isa is of an immense purified reality, immensely purified creation with an immense proximity to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why awliyaullah are teaching from that reality that he asked Allah that, I want to be raised to the heavens to be under the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why in the last days Sayyidina Isa will appear. He will appear at the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi will be on earth and he will appear and he'll clarify that I want to be under the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and that he goes to the Christian people and says, I am the Jesus that you love. He goes to the Jewish people and teaches, I am the Messiah that you denied, now come back to that reality. And then tells the Muslim people that already believe from Holy Qur'an, I am Sayyidina Isa that was uh, told in Holy Qur'an that I would be raised again and brought back onto this earth. So the immensity of bringing nations together for this reality. And at that time to clarify to these nations who his real identity is, what is his proximity to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is of an immense reality. And that's why such an important soul for us to love 
such an important reality for us to have a connection with that we pray His light to, to dress us and to bless us and to bring us close to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad for he's the Prophet of Allah that is at the door between the khafa and akhfa. That before the soul can make an ascension into the heavens and to free itself from the, the bindings of this dunya and, and release for a miraj, it must have an immense relationship with Sayyidina Isa that from that reality of, of the purity of your soul that he must dress that believer, bless that believer and whom he hands his that reality from the khafa to the akhfas to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So the one whom resurrects, the one whom teaches how to die from your material world and resurrect into the spiritual world. The gate of that reality is Sayyidina Isa So then where, where would a person want to be sitting and arguing about this subject and insulting and saying and, and, and just running into boundaries that can be very dangerous. And that's why then the tariqah comes and teaches the best of manners, have the best of manners. When people are gathering for this love, you sit and meditate on this love and ask through the tafakkur and contemplation, Ya Ruhullah that send me from your light and from your love and that Ashhadu an la ilaha wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah from the love that you have for Sayyidina Muhammad dress me from that light and bless me from that light. And build the relationship with the souls of these precious souls that Allah has created. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us on these nights. They have such a proximity that most people don't even know that in our holy grave of Sayyidina Muhammad the Rosa Shah Sharif, the, the blessed road, the blessed location of the holy body of Sayyidina Muhammad is a place that's reserved for Sayyidina Isa Means that we are people that have no time. Anybody who visits Medina to Munawwara and enters to Rosa Sharif to give their salams to Sayyidina Muhammad Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa is right there because he has no time. When Allah and Prophet was teaching that Nabi Isa salam will be buried next to me near Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar Farooq as salam and Sayyidina Isa salam will be buried there. Then who has more right to that love and to that reality? That's what's important is to teach people, of course we have a love. That he is in immense proximity, our belief is that he be buried right next to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that his appearance upon this earth is going to be bridging all of humanity bringing them back together. Instead of dividing and, 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 and uh, every type of difficulty he will be bringing everything back together and coming against the Dajjal. So we pray that Allah dress us and bless us from these realities that are of a timeless reality. That His blessed soul and His blessed presence is everywhere. All we have to do is to connect and connect our hearts and live a life of learning tafakkur, learning how to contemplate and how to go through all of these processes of tafakkur and contemplation. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzata amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.